Hello once more. This is your friend, Pastor Dan. Happy that uh, we can have this opportunity to spend time with the Lord, even just for five minutes a day, just to tell Him, Lord, speak to me and help me to listen. Let's pray. Thank you once more, Lord, for giving us another day in our lives. Above all, thank you for your love. You want to spend time with us, and you call us to uh, make ourselves available so that you can give us the message you have for us every day. Help us now as we continue on knowing more about you and your message for us for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're still with uh, the uh, sixth day. And yesterday, we talked about how God lovingly created us after His image. And what was God telling us? He wants us to be like Him, to, be, to, to resemble Him. He wants this closeness with us. Because those children, when you are that close to your parents, man, you enjoy life. Uh, those uh, couples that are close to each other, they enjoy the maximum of their relationship. So closeness, intimacy is what uh, God wants for us with Him. And in continuation in verse 27, God created humans in His image. In the image of God, He created them. He created them male and female. Oh, let's find the reason why when God created, He wants us to be male and female. And there's a certain reason in purpose why God created us as male and female. And uh, we know that Adam was created first. And when he was created first, he looked around and finding he is alone, not like animals created by pairs, birds and other creatures created by pairs. And so God was not finished yet. He was given his beautiful wife, Eve. And that's what God was saying. They were created male and female after the image of God. So what is God saying? Oh, God is saying, I want that your life will be meaningful purposeful through relationships. Uh, it's different to have a relationship, a caring relationship with your pets, with even with your parents and with your siblings. But when you have experience how to find somebody who loves you and who, who loves you in re, uh, you love him and he loves you or she loves you in return, Oh, there's no comparison to the joy that you have. Uh, I can say this because I've gone through it. You know, when uh, uh, you're growing up, you uh, learn to appreciate someone and uh, your life will never be the same because you're inspired, you you feel so light and that uh, it makes you uh, do things so easy and uh, so inspiring. And it's not just for inspiration. It's not just uh, for us to feel good. It's for the sake of relationship because God is a God of relationship. So God wants us to find a meaningful relationship. And uh, the deepest relationship that God uh, uses to explain the closeness we have for God is through husband and wife. When uh, we have a meaningful relationship with our spouse, we are given a glimpse of how it is, the joy of intimacy, the joy of loving, more than love for parents, more than love for siblings, more than love for our children and for any other else. The closest love is between spouses. And so God even uh, tells us that we, His people, are His bride and He is the groom. 
Why? Because in this relationship, children will be born between husband and wife. If we are not created male and female, then how can we reproduce? And God give us this responsibility of uh, procreation. Uh, we are given this right and privilege to cooperate with the Lord in and reproducing our ourselves through our children. But it's not only for reproduction because it's for relationship. It's for closeness. It's for intimacy. So that in the intimacy of husband and wife, children are born. So when we become intimate with God, He is saying that good things will come out as fruits of our relationship with Him. This being like Him will be produced when we have an intimate and personal relationship with our Lord. So those of you who are enjoying relationship with your uh, wife, or with your spouse, with your husband, this is just an example of God telling us, you will experience more of that when you have a personal relationship with me. Let's pray. Lord, Thank you for giving us the opportunity to love someone and to be loved in return. Thank you for the experience of intimacy that out of our physical union, children are born. And so, Lord, you promise us, you're speaking to us, that if we have this personal relationship with you, great things will come out. And this is how we can resemble you when we produce the character that you have and uh, uh, show to others what you have done in our lives. Thank you again for speaking to us for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.